and today we are looking at the 1968 release by DC Comics from their world's finest comic series of comics. And the one we're looking at today is issue number 175 and it was released in May 1968. Um, and it's got uh, the top, it's got Superman, National Comics, DC. It's got World's Finest Comics, featuring the Superman, Batman, Revenge Squads. And it says approved by the comic code. And it's got Die, Man of Steel, Die, our Superman Revenge Squad will destroy you. It's got Die, Caped Crusader, Die, our Batman Revenge Squad will destroy you. So that is the front cover of this very old comic. Um, great artwork though. But let's turn it over and see what we got on the back. Okay, so on the back, um, there is some um, writing at the top there. Um, not quite sure what that's all about, but it says, um, it's advertising the Aurora model kits again. So it says, alien spaceship identified. It's an exciting new hobby kit for Aurora, by Aurora, from the thrilling TV series on ABC. It's got UFO from the invaders. It's out of this world. The landing pods drop down, the roof lifts off, and there's the alien crew at the controls. Aurora's menacing UFO from the Thrill a Minute Invaders show has just landed on hobby counters everywhere. Keep on the lookout for more TV kits by Aurora. The all-powerful robot from Lost in Space and the amazing flying sub from Voyage to the Bottom of the Sea. They're on their way at one dollar each. Wow. Models can be painted as shown. Kits do not include paint or cement. 1968 Aurora Plastics Corp, West Hampstead, New York. Um, so there we are. Uh, it's got 19, copyright 1967 QM production. On the bottom left-hand corner and on the bottom right-hand corner, it's got 1968 Television Personalities, Inc. Okay, so that is the back cover. Okay, let's just go back to the front. And what I'm going to do now is we're going to open the... Um, comic up and have a look at the contents inside okay so i've opened the first page and there you can see it's got uh, it's advertising on the, the left hand side missile firing tank only six dollars 98 and then you've got see-through spy walls with a man from uncle spy pen um, and there we go over to the st story it says superman and batman with robin the boy wonder in one adventure together and it says the superman batman revenge squads and it says down here world's finest comics number 175 may 1968 published month monthly uh with the exception of jan and april it says go batman go come on creep you've got to figure your way out of the that gas chamber or superman picks up all the marbles Once again, Superman and Batman meet in their annual duel of wits with crime fighter. Will be which crime fighter will be champ this year? Ask those mysterious characters in cape and cow and that ominous crew in Superman costumes. They plan for both heroes to be losers when they collect the perilous prizes prepared by the Revenge Squad. Okay, so here we go. So this is a full color comic strip um very good um artwork as well um there's a lot of adverts in these because they were like the american design comics but there's a, a lot of um adverts it's just like on a television um program there's a lot of adverts uh this one says free radar lighthouse and then we're back on to the comic and it says here the mental mayhem gets underway in round one of the Duel of Wits in part two. So there we go. That's advertising the Superboy comic. Uh, more adver advertisements. And then we go on part two. To the victor comes death. And it's part two of that same comic strip. With a duel between Batman and Superman. Um, and it features obviously the Revenge Squad. But again, very good artwork. And in full colour. That's quite an old comic so some of the pages have come away from the staple that was holding them together um, and that brings us to the end of that story and then we've got um, again some more adverts save the west run it and the red
Red Baron monogram, or it's all about monogram model kits. And there's Cape and Cow Comments, which is the uh, letter page. Uh, Novelty Parade, which was a, um, a company advertising items to purchase. And then we've got Introducing John Jones, Manhunter from Mars. It's John Jones, the fabulous Manhunter from Mars, first appeared in the November 1955 issue of Detective. There have been many changes in the sleuth from space since then. But here's that first story telling how he was brought to Earth by the strange experiment of Dr. Erdel. So there we are. And now you've got your favourite stories now featuring official United States Lennis Torn Association tennis merchandise. <clears throat> and we continue on um, with the story. And it says, read the story of the Martian Manhunter's first case in the next issue of The World's Finest. Again, there's more comics being advertised for sale there. Um, and there's a competition um, on the left-hand side there. And uh, items to purchase on the right there. And that brings us to the end of the comic. Like I say, 1968. Fabulous condition for a comic that is um, 55 years old. Um, there is some ob obvious wear on the sides, and as I say some of the pages are beginning to come a little bit loose where the staples come through the page, uh, and there's some very slight tanning um, of the page edges, but otherwise it's in very good condition. Now, finding comics this age in this condition is very difficult these days, but as usual, we at Minus Touch have managed to find quite a few, which are currently available to purchase on the Minus Touch website which you can get to quite simply by clicking the link below. It'll take you straight to the website where you'll be able to find this and many other vintage DC comics and many other vintage toys, games to collect. Always come to that. There's over 10,000 products currently available on the website for you to view and purchase at your leisure. And also don't forget to hit the subscribe button because we are uploading videos for every new item that goes into the website. There will be something for everybody. And I know you don't want to miss this because we literally have thousands and thousands of more products, which we are shooting videos for and uploading on a daily basis. So if there's something in particular you're looking for, something old that you've never been able to find, something quirky you might wanna buy for a friend, or maybe just something from your childhood that you'd like to have again to help you recuperate those long lost childhood memories. Well, stay tuned, keep watching, because you never know that next item we upload could be the one you're looking for. Okay, that is it for me on this particular item. I hope you've enjoyed this very short video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again soon.